If you were impressed by ChatGPT and auto GPT capabilities, you'll be amazed at the things you can do with GPT Engineer. With GPT Engineer, you can create apps with just one single prompt. You can, for example, create a snake pie game as you can see here that i created using only gpt engineer as you can see here gpt engineer created all the files that i needed for this snake pie and you can also automate a complete web scraping project for example here i created a web scraping project and i extracted all the data inside my own website and you can even create websites with only one simple prompt in this video i want to show you how to set up gpt engineer i'm going to show you how to deal with some issues that you might come across in the installation and show you all the things you can do with gpt engineer so let's get started all right to install gpt engineer first we have to go to this github repo which i'm going to leave in the description below and then we have to click on the green button that says code and we have to copy this to clone this repo but before we clone this repo, I strongly recommend you to set up a virtual environment. And you can do this with Conda or, or with Pip. And I'm gonna do this. So here I created a folder named My Projects, and inside I'm gonna create a virtual environment. So what I have to do is write Python 3 hyphen and BNB and then the name of the virtual environment, which is gonna be GPT hyphen E and V. Then I press enter, and as you can see, we have a new folder which is named GPT env. And now to activate this virtual environment, we have to run the following code. So source, then the name of the virtual environment, bin activate. In case you want to install that virtual environment with Conda, I'm gonna leave the code on the description below. Now that we have this virtual environment, we can clone the GitHub repo. So to do this, I'm going to copy this, and then what we're gonna do is go here and write git clone and then paste that link that we just copied so we paste it and now we just clone this github repo as you can see we have a new folder named gbt hyphen engineer and now we have to cd to this folder so we type cd and then gpt engineer so we type this and now we're inside this folder in our terminal so now what we have to do is type make install and after this, we're gonna install another virtual environment. This is kind of tricky, but just follow the steps, which by the way, I took from GitHub. And in case there are some updates in the GitHub repo, I'm gonna leave a comment with all the changes that you need to consider to install GPT Engineer. Okay, now we got the message all done. And with this, we can continue with the next step. And the next step is activate this virtual environment that was created here. So here, as you can see, it says creating virtual environment, and this is because here we created another virtual environment that this is from GPT engineer. And now we just have to write the following source VNB being activate. Then we have to press enter. And with this, we activated this virtual environment VENV. All right, now to finish the setup, we have to go here to the GitHub repo and copy this line of code to set up our open AI API key. So we have to copy this. And by the way, this API key, you get it from the, the open AI page, which I'm going to leave also in the description so you can immediately get or generate a new API key. And well, we copy this and then we go to the terminal, we paste it, but here instead of your API key, we have to type our API key or actually just copy and paste it. So here is my API key, which by the way, I'm going to delete after recording this video and we press enter and with this we set up our OpenAI API key. All right, with this we finished the setup. Now we can start working with GPT Engineer. And to work with GPT Engineer, we have to use this file main underscore prompt. And to get to this file, we have to go to projects, which is inside the GPT hyphen engineer. And then we have by default one project, which is example. And inside example, there's this file main underscore prompt. If we open this with a text editor, we're gonna get this. So this is like the single prompt that is gonna generate our whole app. So in this default um, prompt, we see this. 
We are writing a snake in Python and we see components split in separate files, keyboard control. So these are the indications, the instructions that that are used to create this snake game in Python. And well, you can leave it as is to do this test or you can change it and come up with a cool project. In this case, I'm gonna do a different project just to show you what other things you can do with GPT engineer. In this case, I'm gonna do a web scraping project and I'm gonna type the following. So this is what I just pasted and it's like this. I scrape the article titles from this website and this is my website thepycoach.com then the article titles are inside an h2 tag so here i'm giving it some help i'm telling that here in my website i have the titles in the h2 tag that's html that's just a little help then i'm telling it to export the data into a csv file so as you can see this is one single prompt and we should get the csv file with all the data that i asked for so now before doing this i'm going to leave it as this because i'm going to show you what you should do when you have many projects so here i'm going to close this one and in the repo it recommends you to duplicate this folder so for example we have example right now but if we copy and paste this we have now a copy and this is my new project which is web scraping i'm going to name this web scraping and in this project i have Again, this main prompt, and now I can open a new one. And here we have, again, the, the default instructions, and I can paste my prompt again. So I have my prompt, and now I'm gonna save it, and now I'm gonna close it, and as you can see, now I have a new project, and well, I edited the main prompt. And now we can go to the terminal, and here I'm gonna clean this, and what I'm gonna do is go here to the GitHub repo, and I'm going to copy this code that we need to run gpt engineer so it's gpt hyphen engineer and then projects and then a slash and the name of your project in this case my project is named web scraping so i'm gonna paste or actually i'm gonna type web scraping and with this everything should be ready so i'm gonna press enter and we're gonna see all the steps that gpt engineer is going to follow to to fulfill my request. So as you can see, it's following different steps and well, it's creating a class and it's describing all the things it's gonna do to get that, to scrape the data and then to export the data into a CSV file. Okay, finally, GPT engineer finished generating all the code and now it's asking me if I want to execute this code. So I'm gonna press enter because I want to execute this code and as you can see, I get an error. And the error says no such file or directory requirements.txt. So currently there is an issue with this repo. And the thing is that it doesn't generate that requirements.txt file. But I'm going to show you a workaround that you can use to deal with this issue. But before that, something important you need to know is that all the code and the files generated are gonna be in workspace. If we go here to workspace inside our web scraping project, we can see that now we have different files. So we have all underscore output.txt. Basically this file has all the code that was generated and that was shown here in the terminal. And if you go to all underscore output, you're gonna see all the code and this code is supposed to be split into these pi files. And as you can see in the pi files, we have a weird format. So we have these apostrophes and I'm gonna get rid of them because for some reason they were generated, but we don't need them. So that's one of the issues that you might encounter. The name of the file might be with some extra characters, and but that's something that you can easily deal with. But to deal with the requirements that txt that we've seen here in the terminal, and that's why we got the error, what we have to do is go to the all underscore output that txt and we have to open this file. And as you can see here, there should be a requirements.txt section. So we're gonna look for this section and it's here at the end of the txt file. So what I'm gonna do is duplicate this txt file and then change the name. So I'm gonna name it requirements.txt. Then I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna delete everything but the libraries that we need for this project to run. So here I'm going to delete everything and then I'm going to delete the last part and these are the libraries we need. So I'm going to save this 
and this is everything we need. So now that everything is ready, I'm going to install the libraries inside requirements.txt and then run main.py. And I'm going to do that on the terminal. So here I'm going to cd into this workspace folder. And to do this, I'm going to cd here into the projects folder, then web scraping, and then workspace. So here I type cd, then web scraping, which is the name, sorry, first project, then web scraping, which is the name of my project, then workspace. And now I'm inside the workspace folder. So here I'm going to type the following pip install hyphen r requirements.txt. And with this, I'm going to install all the libraries I need for this project to work. And after this, now we install all the libraries. After this, I'm going to type Python main.py and with this we're going to run main.py and hopefully we're going to get our data exported into a csv file and as you can see now we got a new file named article underscore titles .csv. and as you can see here we have the data so these are the the article titles that are on my website here you can find some tools i wrote about like jupyter ai then we have notable leonardo ai private gpt and if we go to my website you can see the same title so jupyter ai then here is Notable that I wrote and also made a YouTube video, Leonardo AI, then Private GPT and more. So we successfully scraped all this data in just some seconds using GPT Engineer. And we didn't even have to copy and paste code, but we only had to use one prompt and then all the files were automatically generated. But web scraping is not the only thing you can do with GPT Engineer. You can actually build any app that you want. For example, here you can um, try building a website and let's do a test with a website. And here I'm going to copy and paste this example project and then I'm going to type website. So this is going to be my website that I want to create using GPT Engineer. Then I'm going to open with text edit and then I'm going to create a simple website about docs. So to do this, I'm going to type create a website about dogs. You can add as many details as you want. In this simple test, I'm just gonna leave it as is. But of course, as you do with ChatGPT, you can add as many details as you want and you're gonna get a more customized uh, code and well, a more customized website. In this case, I'm just gonna leave it as is. Then we're gonna repeat the steps just to, to get familiar with this. So basically we have to go here and type gpt hyphen engineer projects and then the name of the project in this case is website so i type website but first here i have to move to another folder because i'm in workspace so i'm going to cd until i go to gpt engineer so here i'm gpt engineer and now i'm going to run gpt engineer projects slash website and now as you can see now we're seeing all the pages that are going to be in our website All right, this took a couple of minutes, but now this is done. So now it's asking me if I want to execute this code. So I wanna press enter because I want to execute this code. So now it's executing the code and we're gonna see what happens. So again, we got the error that there is no file requirements.txt and we can deal with this as I showed you before. So we can go here to website, then workspace. And here again, we're gonna have all the files that were generated. And as you can see, we didn't have the issue that we had before with the name of the files, but now it's everything is just perfect. So we can see that there is uh, many PI files we have the breed repository, the contact form, dot breed controller, dot breed, and email service. And in the run that sh, we have instructions to get this project started. And well, now you can duplicate the all underscore output.txt and only leave the libraries inside the requirements section to have the requirements.txt file as I showed you before. And after that, you have to follow the instructions here. And probably you're gonna find some issues that you have to deal with because as I showed you before, GPT Engineer is not perfect. So as you can see, we still need to use our programming knowledge to work with this AI tool. And that's it for this video. Let me know in the comment section below whether GPT Engineer got your request in one shot or if you still had to do some tweaks to get the code working. And I'll see you on the next video.